Welcome back, everyone. We're looking at Luther Harkon. He's going to go attack Gentleman Jenkins. Gentleman Jenkins is currently ranked 9 on the infamy list. I would like to be ranked 9. In order to get there, I'm going to kill Gentleman Jenkins. We're moving out now. Creepy carry. I'm going to let you join my army when you're able to. All right, you've got two mortars. They'll have a range of 380. The Great Cannon will have a range of 450. I'll have to watch out for that. We do have a spell to use, the Kraken's Pool. And we're going into combat right now. I could use my mortars to lure them out. If I focus all of my mortars on one group of artillery at a time, we've got a pretty decent chance of killing off the crew. It's more likely we'll kill off the crew than take out the artillery pieces, but I'll think about it. I'm going to gamble for more magic because I do actually have magic to use now. Good. I can use my Kraken's Pool early on. If I come over here, I could use this location to protect my left flank. That could be pretty decent. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep, right now, all of my minions over here in the trees. If you want to see my regiment of renown, here they are. Oh, they're dripping. Gross. Well... Don't get in my carpet. All right. My handguns will be a little bit further back. Gunnery mobs and bombers, you'll be on the front lines. Very good. You'll move together. Deck droppers, I'm going to move you out later. Morn ghouls, you'll come in later too. Oh, I do have my bloated corpse. Yeah, they're going to hide out. It's going to be a fun surprise for family. All of my family here. I say family because they're eventually going to join me. Okay, mortars, I hope you're ready. I know I am, Luther Harkon. You're going to move up in a little while. Go into guard mode. Yeah, we're good now. I have everyone in position. We can begin the fight. Mortars, why don't you begin attacking their mortars? Luther Harkon, why don't you run around a little bit? Let's find out if we can actually take on some of their artillery. That was a pretty good hit. Not bad for the very beginning of our attack. We've already taken out some free company militia. They have more mortars on the way in addition to their great cannon, which will probably get a lot of their kills for them. But again, that's all right. I'm willing to take a few lumps because eventually they're going to head towards me. I wonder if I get too close, they might try to advance right away. We're going to find out. All right, we've done some damage. If we can have a few accurate hits on top of their mortar, we'll be okay. The other idea would be to go after their infantry right away. We would get a lot of kills, sure, but I want to try to limit them. Deck droppers are moving you over here. They're not going to know what to do. All right, I want all of you to move back. You're very good at breaking down my foes, so I want you to take break, whereas my gunnery mobs will move over to the front lines for now. That'll do it. Okay, come on, Luther Harkon. Let's get a move on. I'm going to use my Kraken's pull right on top of them, unless they begin to move. It looks like they're not moving now. Let's go check out that spell. Oh, man. Now that is cool right in the middle. It looks like it does a lot of damage. If you really land on top of a crowd, you're going to get a lot of kills. Yeah, now they're wanting to move. Funny how that works out, huh? Alright, move over here. Those are my bombers again. All of my gunners will move up. Let's check out what's happening right now. Alright. That mortary, or mortary, mortar crew is not doing too well. Time for me to move up. I'm going to begin attacking. We're going to stagger up my formation. I'm going to have Luther Harkon begin shooting these free company militiamen. Well, they're going to be able to shoot me too. That wouldn't be great. They've got more. Way too many. All right. I'm going to have my deck droppers come over here to go after that great cannon crew. They're currently obstructed. Let's go get more of them. They're not hitting over here. Good. I didn't want them to. Let's go attack whoever's nearby. Just move up a bit. You got it. Luther Harkon, come over here. Let's go after that free company militia group. 
It looks like their mortars are falling apart. Even better. Let's charge in at a few locations. Bombers move in. I'm going to have my mortars now target what they have pretty close by. We could go after their crossbows. You know what? Let's begin to hit their crossbows at a few locations too. We can do that. Okay, more goals. I want you to move in. I'm going to bring you over here to go after some crossbowmen. The bloated corpses, I'm going to bring them in to go attack. Full arms, push in. If we lose any infantry, that's what they're here for. They're meant to bind up everyone. Luther Harkon's fighting a group of free company militiamen. I've got another Kraken spool. We're going into slow motion. We're going to find a good target for them. You know what? Right over here. Right behind their line of infantry. That should take them on. That should really do a lot. Okay. My bombers are under attack. Let's go after these swordsmen. You know what? I'm going to have... You go after this group of free company militia. You'll go after the crossbowmen. The deck droppers are currently taking out that great cannon crew. We'll go after the mortars instead. It looks like they're hitting me still. I'm going to have all of these gunners, all these hand gunners, now focus on that free company militia group. Here's another Kraken's pull doing even more damage. This large group of soldiers with our cons killed nearly 100 now. He'll be at well over 100 in just a touch of time. He's in melee right now, doing an incredible amount of damage. My bombers, I'm going to move back. Actually, I don't need to. They won. Let's go bombing again. The more ghouls, where are you at? Oh, okay. Our foes fled. How quaint. Okay, I need every mortar crew to go after this group of free company militia outside of maybe two of you. <laughs> so maybe not every one of them. Listen, I'm crazy Luther Harkon. I get to make weird choices whenever I want. Gunnery mobs, come over here. My bombers will go after that free company militia group. Yeah, we're going to focus down on that free company militia crew. As we finish off more and more of them. Alright, you two attack over here. They're fleeing. Let's make them leave for good. With the Harkon, you're not quite done yet. You killed 117. He's going to be able to use another Kraken's pull. To keep on pushing on. Go after that group of crossbowmen. Actually, let the deck droppers do it. More ghouls want you to come back. I don't know how much time you'll have. Move here. You two move over here. Begin shooting. Or continue shooting. The rest of you will go after these spearmen. I'm going to have... Actually, you know what? Mortars attack over here. I'm going to let Luther Harkon come back. I'll use another Kraken's pull. In case they try to flee, let them be hit by it. Because right now, I need to come down here to go after another friend of theirs. That cooldown is relatively low. It's a high cost, but whenever you don't have a lot of spells, it's really not a problem. Come over here, Morngulls. What about my deck droppers? They're still alive. Go after that crossbow group. only a few left. I'll have to come back to hill up, but that'll work out just fine. Okay, Jenkins, I'm coming after you now. While they're fleeing, let's use our mortars to clean up a few more of them. More ghouls are charging in. They'll go after another group. My deck droppers are attacking some more fleeing units. My gunners will go after Gentleman Jenkins. I feel like that'll be a sound idea. So we're going to do that. Luther killed 163 in that battle. My mortars got a few kills, sure. Gentleman Jenkins is having a really bad day. He's going to run away for now. I was hoping that Free Company Militia Group would flee right away. They did hold. They did a good job holding. If I had known that they were going to hold for so long, I probably would have had Luther go after Gentleman Jenkins from the very beginning. Alright, we can't catch him. That's okay. We've won the battle. I lost a few. But I can afford that. However, they can't really afford much more. Once I get a few more large units, we'll really be able to stick it to them. I might even go get an animated Hulk or two just to kind of add a bit of flavor to my army. Is at a premium. Let's make sure. Well, no, I already have Shared the Loot going on, I believe. 
So I'm going to go take Ransom Captives. There is no stopping. It'll be a great way to make more money. I know these waters. Okay. Yarg, the pirate known as Lucky Levi, met his end at the, the Anzen of his own men after dabbling in black magic with his lucky rabbit's foot. The fool was trying to raise zombie deckhands for his crew, but his first mate was not best pleased at being replaced by the walking dead, and so shaved his captain while he slept. But Levi's undead mob continued to serve their master. Okay, that really hurts my throat. I can't do any more of that. One person was like, hey, will you do it in your pirate voice the whole time if we give you some rum-flavored lozenges? No. <laughs> okay, let's see. Throw the first mate and the rest of the living crew overboard and scuppered Levi's ship. So now we have another regiment of renown, the Black Spot, a, a zombie pirate gunnery mob that has handguns. Okay, and I have a spell shield. With my magic resistance, man, no one would be able to harm me, really. I'll take two of you. I might have to fight that out if I want to not lose entire units. Let's go look over here real quick. What do I want? I want more campaign movement range. If there's duty to be paid, rest assured that this one will find a way around it. I'll take it. The vampire coast prevails. Oh, I can't reach you? Oh, you're so lucky. Which means I'm going to move over here to Pox Marsh. Absolutely not. Then maybe later we'll come back out to kill them. But look at my replenishment. I'll be all done in like a turn or two. Yeah. I'll wait to pick up these units over here. They're rather expensive. I mean, I could afford one of them, but that would be most of my money. Okay, Bill, let's have you come over here. It's about time for you to go colonize for me. Blood and blunder. I could get rid of his units, but I want them to help maintain my strength for right now. The blood swamps will need a garrison. Creepy Carry, you're coming up. You're going to help out too. The Chilling Aura slows down my foes. Very nice. And that'll be handy whenever I'm chasing down enemies. He doesn't have too many abilities, it looks like, but he'll be useful. He'll be handy. More hit points. Heaven S. More magic for me. We can end our turn again. You're nearly there, Bill Black Cell. Okay, let's end our turn again. Now we can wait a minute. And hopefully, we'll be able to reach Gentleman Jenkins on our following turn. I really do think the Vortex campaign map is by far the most interesting one that you can find. Oh, they're right by me. That's even better. Great Golden Idol. Apparently, a Great Lizardman Temple has been unearthed, though most of it is dilapidated. A single statue stands at the center of what was likely a ceremonial garden. It must be worth a fortune, but removing it will certainly cause the temple to collapse, which will surely draw somebody's ire. Should we take the idol and ignore the consequences or be cautious not to attract too much attention and their cold, unforgiving bloodlust our way? For now, I'm going to avoid them because I'm trying to focus on all these pirates. You go look over here. He's not able to move too far out. That's wonderful. I'm going to have you dig for treasure maps, I think, or even raid. But for now, let's go out and fight again. My madness is not weakness. Oh, he's moving away. Plotting a cause. You're not able to replenish, not like me. How powerful. Okay, let's auto-resolve. I didn't lose anyone at all. I'm going to take, again, more money. One more faction gone. Not quite at rank 9, even though he's gone. I wonder if that'll change up in a turn or two. Okay, if you can't reach me, and I can sell wherever I want, I'm glad I focused on all of that campaign movement. That was a really good call. We'll come right over here. I believe over time as we begin to upgrade our ship, we'll visually change what we look like on our ship. Okay, creepy carry, come on. When you join me, that'll count as doing a mission. 
I'll get my money. All right. Let's go look at what I want to upgrade. First off, I do want that smuggler's landing. I've got to get more money. That much is true. I'm going to upgrade that to tier 3 in a minute. I also want to colonize over here. I don't believe I can build a cove right away, can I? Let me have a look. It looks like I can't. I'm going to search the ruins first. Okay. Let's have a look at what we're seeing here. Throughout the world, the Old Ones left vast troves of power for use by their most trusted servants. To prevent such power falling into wrong hands, the wrong hands, they placed wards and cryptographic locks over them. As millennia have passed, these wards have weakened, but the arcane locks remain. Okay. That alignment is all. Interesting. Let me go look at what we have here. So, clearly a few of these are connective. All right, let's see the blue ones. Are they linked up? Not that I can tell. The yellow ones, are they linked up? I don't know about that. Okay, I'm not gonna spend too much time here. You two are not fully linked up. I wonder if I can, I can't actually move it around so I've gotta just guess one of these down here. I failed, I'll try again later. Okay, I'm not going to upgrade that location. I do need a zombie post over here, even though I also want to just make more money. Making more money would be ideal for me, but we can wait on that. Let's end our turn. On our following turn, if we have enough units, we'll go after that Dark Elf army. That'll complete another mission, then I want to heal up, and I'll probably keep on doing treasure battles. If I keep on doing that, then you can make so much money, and you can gain so much power by doing that. Oh, he's moving. We can now gain more corruption. Very nice. Let's go over here to technology. What else do I want? Ship buildings would be cheaper, huh? Long term, that sounds incredible. I like that a lot. Okay. I'm now corrupting the land. The ship's carpenter repairs battle and storm damage off and while they rage and writhe about him. Very nice. So we'll gain that in order to have cheaper buildings. Alright, I'll get rid of one of you. It's gonna be... Let's have a look. The ocean Who's gonna be? Us all. It's gonna be you for right now. Come on, creepy carry. Time for you to scavenge at my army. King of the vampire. Now we have more infamy. I am the pirate king. Navi yeah, yeah, yeah. Never. I'll have to wait one more turn to go after our foes, you but consider. I think that'll be okay too. As I want to use my hero in battle. Time for me to colonize. We did it. I'd rather let someone else take it and then turn it into a cove, but hey, that'll work. Oh, I can't wait to get another vampire fleet captain. I'll put it with the one that I don't have. I'm now making 625 gold per turn. That isn't great, but it's more than we had at the very beginning. And my goal, even if I don't hold that location down there, is to at least spread corruption. I want to try to get as much corruption around here as I can possibly spread. That's important to me. It looks like he's not actively hunting me down. Oh, we do have the Savage Blow. It's even better. My madness is not weakness. You're correct about that. So we're going to go fight Tharkat, the Underling. He's got a pretty decent army. At a premium. With my mortars, I should be able to beat him outright. Battle of the Vampire Coast. Tharkett the Underling is about to take on a series of Corsairs. I have a feeling we'll have to play a fairly tight ship. Haha. <laughs> because they do have some pretty extreme units. And this map isn't my best one for what I want to do. So what we're going to do then. Because we have a lot. 
a few units to help out. I think we're going to fight down here today. We're going to keep it together. The range of my units will bring them to me. We've got like a slight hill. Yeah, we'll at least hit a few of them. I want to move everyone else but my mortars. Okay, here is Creepy Carry. Oh, God. Hey, buddy. Have fun. With the Harkon, you're going to be right over here. All of my gunners will be right over here, too. My hand gunners on the flanks. My bombers kind of in the middle. My generic units will be on the front lines, ready to die horribly. Now the great part is, I can just have my mortars go after their dark shards. I know they have armor piercing too. Deck droppers, I'll have you go after them later. More ghouls, you're going to help me out in melee, so you'll wait here. Load of corpse, you're going to charge out later, so you're going to wait here too. Every range unit will go into guard mode, as will my mortars. Very good. Okay. We are now ready for battle. Let's begin attacking. I feel like going after their Corsairs will be more important. The Dark Riders will be fairly damaging too. It's going to be fun seeing how much damage we deal to them again. I've got my Kraken's pool. Our first time fighting Dark Elves. They're always a savage force to contend with. All right. Okay, they do have artillery, though. They are shooting through the trees. That should hinder them. If but a bit. Yeah, I want you to focus right now on these Black Ark Corsairs. I want these guys very much dead. So go kill them. The right flank, it looks like they have quite a few coming after me. Understood. Let's get ready for that. Whatever they hit me with, it's not going to be enough. Okay, Luther Harkon, let's get ready. Here comes a pretty big group, Morngul. Get closer. Dear God, the Morngul is so large. That's pretty intimidating to even look at. Okay, all of my gunners begin to attack. You can see they have shields, so they're going to be able to charge in. Let's get a nice cinematic shot as they move in. My Morgul will join in too. I'm going to press in some other units to help out. Oh no! He just jumps in. Okay. Very nice. I like it. We're going over here. Let's go look at my other units who are still attacking. As they choose to. Let's go over here and kill some Black Ark Corsairs. I'm going to let this bloated, this bloated corpse come after these Dread Spears. And we're going to keep on attacking a few others. Let's see. As it is, let's go after their Dark Shards. Luther Harkon, he's about ready to attack some more of them. We're going to use a Kraken's Pool right here in the midst of their infantry. And Deck Droppers, I'll have you go after some other units too. Oh, no, you're not going over there. You're going to stay right over here. Keep on attacking them. Deck Droppers, you're coming over here to go after these units. Harpies, I don't like you. Let's go shoot the Harpies down. Bombers, I'm going to have you... Oh, my. They're falling apart so quickly. I'm not used to it. Let's have Creepy Carry go after... Well, no, you can't go in alone. That would be a terrible idea. You would probably fall apart. You're not that adorable, friend. Okay. Over here, I'm losing some units. So we're going to have to focus on them. I want Luther Harkon to move back. Yeah, focus on these units real quick. Let's tire them out. My spell did a lot of damage. We're already breaking so many of them. Let's bring back some other units too. Like my pole arms will move back. I want my Morgulls to move back. They're going to come after whatever. Just whatever. Oh, okay. Murderous. Intent and all that's coming at me. Move back, gunners. Come over here. If you're bombing, then do your bombing. We have them all mobbed up right now. We're going to focus on these Dark Shards. My Deck Droppers are still attacking. 
Let's see. We're gonna have them hunt down these dark varieties. We'll continue to harass them a lot. I'm losing a few of my pole arms, but I think altogether we're winning. We've won the battle. It's just a matter of, of making them all run now. How many kills do you have? Only eight. Yeah, my artillery has a lot more kills right now. No matter what I lose, it'll always be back later. Okay, more goals. I was waiting for them to come at me. Go after these units. I want this group to come after these harpies. You two, go shoot them. With the Harkon, you'll go after their leader, Tharket. I'm gonna crack and spool, but it looks like they're all gonna break soon. I could use it actually over here. On these Shred Spears, I think that'll be a decent plan of action. Alright, the rest of you just gotta stay in formation. We're not gonna pursue. If you wanna come back and fight me, let them. The Harpies are falling. We've won the battle. I've used all of my assets quite well, I think. More ghouls are under attack alone. Oh, I don't like that. I think they'll be able to hold on, but I don't like it. Okay. Maybe carry. And Luther will go after their leader. He's already dying. He's gone. He's terrified. I mean, who wouldn't be? He'd be crazy to not be. Battle over. The Sunken Land Corsairs. Yeah, so we took care of them. Morgul's 142 in kills. Creepy Carry at level 157 kills. He didn't have any special abilities to use. He just went in there and started thrashing around. It was never done. Souls for sale. No pirate greater. The oceans roil constantly. Shifting. Concealing. Hiding secrets beneath their murky depths. The living have no place in the dark deep of the sea. Only the dead can scavenge here. Wolfheart's ship, a vengeance left unfulfilled. But that was not all the captain left behind. There it gleams amidst the carcass of the ship. A harpoon of tempered star metal. The only weapon strong enough to pierce the heart of Amana. The harpoon is claimed. But the charms that made it so potent have been washed away. There is much to do before the weapon can be used against the beast. Okay. We did it. 7,000 gold for me. I now have my star metal harpoon. I'm rank 9. Master and commander. Hey, how appropriate. I'd rather have the crew three sheets to the wind than face a mutiny, lads. It's frog o'clock. Okay. So, I'm gonna recruit for fun. Ooh, look at these guys. They're really ranking up, aren't they? You're a bunch of bombers. I wanna try out some bombers. I haven't gotten to do that yet, really. I want some more infantry. We're gonna stay out here. Can they reach me? They cannot reach me. No, no. There's gonna be like a battle there. I know these waters. Can I move here and heal? Let's find out. Nope. Shoot. Okay, let's kind of push over into our waters. There we go. Okay, at rank 10, what else do I want? Poacher. Arsonist. Forger. Raiding. I'm going to take Arsonist for right now. Fractured Mind at rank 12. But for now, Arsonist, because I would like to deal more damage to whoever. I can kind of counter my fire resistance fire weakness too. Prevails. Scavenge, that would be more post battle loot. That's okay. Let me look at what you have over here to killing cold. Yeah, I think I want that one. It'll enable frostbite attacks. Run true for the frozen terror. Come with the more gold radiates a deathly chill that slows enemies, allowing it to go in for the kill. 
Indeedly so. Okay. Still nothing that I want to use yet. I want to upgrade my main camp, so we're going to do that. I'm going to build my zombie watch post. Slow in uptake, they might be, but the zombies make effective guards once they smell living flesh approaching. So we're going to do that too. I could probably take this location as well. I got the money for it. That would complete another entire province. I could just let them sit here for a time. There we are. A little money again, but that is okay. All right, so let me look at it real quick. I need to spread more corruption. We'll get bat swarms all over the lands here. Not making any money, so we're not going to tax them yet. Serve for eternity. Okay, my friend, you wait there. The Dread Fleet, how do you feel about me? Nothing. I'm stronger than you. The tower. Bargain or party, you don't order me. He doesn't hate me outright, it looks like. The Lizardmen do hate me, of course they should. And now, we're gonna heal up. Because I wanna come over here to win a battle if I can. If there is a battle to fight, there probably is. I do not wanna fight Cold Eye, that's too much for me. I'll fight him one day, just not today. Clan Pestilence is nearby. They could potentially desire the lands I have. I hope they do not. I'm in a non-aggression pact with them, which largely means they should leave me alone. That's the idea behind a non-aggression pact. I don't know if a rat fucker will follow it or not. I haven't found that out yet. Okay, you want me to go fight the World Root Rangers? Really? Well, I need a location for them. Master, a band of mortals invades your lands. Oh, okay. Oh, they're right over here. I see. If I go back and beat him, I'll gain 2,000 more gold. That's really good. That'll put me at 50 more infamy. Mad Mullinson, haven't gotten him yet, but we're almost to the first Sea Shanty verse. Okay. I'm going to improve his location. That'll give me more corruption. Very nice, my friend. I know you're losing a bit of that loyalty. I'm not a fan. Okay, control A, control M to combine everyone. I like to go over basic hotkeys for a few people who might be new. Let's go through some treasure. So we have another group to kill. I can auto re resolve, but again, with like that much left, I'll probably lose a unit or two. That would do a lot of damage. Whereas I could use my artillery to really beat them up. It's probably better. Fight it out. That's what my infantry. Everyone else is doing very well. They're having a great time, I think. They're ranking up. So here, we're fighting on the same map. I know eventually we're gonna see like different maps, so don't worry about that. But for now, let's begin deployment. At least we'll know this map quite well. We'll be intimate with it. All right, so again, I'm gonna make them come to me. Best idea for me to do that is to channel them towards me. My infantry can wait over here. With the Harkon and Creepy Carry will be on the front lines. Speaking of Carry, I finally saw the Stephen King film Carry. Well, you know, it's based on this book. It was actually very good. I saw the original. All right, let's go look at my deck choppers. Right over here. <laughs> they move so much. Let's go look at their stats real quick in case you're curious about them. All right, so they do Sunder Armor, minus 30. It's very powerful. They have Armor Piercing. That's really good. Okay. More goals, you'll be back there behind my lines, all of you. Where am I gonna move you, huh? I guess I'll keep you there. I'm gonna move you out later. Go into guard mode. Mortars, go into guard mode. We're gonna have you go after their mortars in a little while. Let's go after whatever we want, really. And I guess we could go after their mortars. Yeah, sure. I just wanted to launch my initial attack. That worked out nicely. Just to make them dance a bit. Get out of here, kids. You don't know my lands. Oh my god. Look at the contrast in size here. Let's get Luther a little bit closer to him. 
With pleasure, oh my. Time to go harass a few enemies now. They want to be annoying, we're going to go hit them. I'm going to have all of my artillery now attack their mortars. We can annihilate them early on. You made a bad choice, Vampire Fleet Admiral. That's one mortar gone. Hold on, let's move a bit. They have some gunners, so I don't want them to hit me. They can fire while moving. So they'll be able to do some damage. Move out a wee bit. You two come over here. The rest of you will move out over here. Ooh, the hand cannons. They're actually planning on hitting me. Very rude. Just got to go over that death guard now. If they're gonna come after me, we're gonna go hit them. Let's tire them out too. Power siphon. Yeah, we have a lot of that mortar crew. We can even go after them. Let's go after them real quick. No more skirmishing. I'm gonna have all of my gunners move into position. I was gonna have you two come in directly, but come over here instead. The mortars are gonna wipe out the Death Guard, who are so cool looking, but not strong enough to take us all on. All right, let's begin to charge in with all of my infantry units. More goals, I want you over here to go after that Deckhand's mob. As for all of my gunners, I'm going to have you use overlapping fire to attack. We've wiped out their mortars. That should do it, my friends. That should do it quite nicely. I've got a Kraken's pool that I can use. We're going to use that right over here in the middle of their formation. More ghouls are in the middle of it. They've already shot up these zombie pirates. I want to use my bombers appropriately, but I think we can now. Very cool. Let's come over here. I'm going to use my bombers to go after that death guard. They have armor piercing. I'm going to use my deck droppers to come over here to go after whoever. Creepy Carrie's having a fun time. Dancing in the middle of the group. So we're nearly done with the battle. We didn't lose too many. We took some damage, sure. Ethan Harkon was fighting some death guard, but he's got it under control. All right, they're crumbling instead. We'll come over here to bomb them, I suppose. We might as well give them that much. All right, Mortis come over here to attack. We'll go after those other gunners. Oh yeah, they're trying to hit me. It's rude, it's very rude of you. Well, there are 13 of you and you're still dealing a lot of damage to Luther Harkon, so go attack. Gunners, I think all of you are not done. Let's move over here. More goals are easily cleaning up everyone else. Creepy Carry's winning his fight. And I have my mortars wiping out some more of their gunners. Okay. Time for me to go after their leader. All right. We've engaged every enemy. They should break soon enough. Once they break, we don't need to actually chase them down. They'll just be done with. They'll be over. Yeah, this unit is incredible, though. 32 kills now. He's slowing them down. So if they want to get away, they're not going to. 114, 115 kills now. I don't need to bring up my gunners. I can if I want to, I guess. Here, let's bring them up. All right, mortars come over here to attack. Come over here. Let's go after those who are still attacking me. We'll go attack them directly. Nope, they're all falling apart now. The battle's over. We can end it. I've gained gold. I've gained maybe some other treasure too. I'm at 171. That was probably like a little bit of friendly fire, I'm sure, but it happens whenever you have a lot of fodder all over the battlefield. Luther Harkon killed 42. Creepy Carry killed 34. Never in doubt. We'll take more treasure. More power. The cursed pilots. Okay. 8,000 gold. Luther. Now that's really good, too. Okay. Let's get back to our lands. We can come back for more treasure. That's just a great idea if you ever just want to build up. 
Okay, what else do I have over here that I want? Poacher would be great for anti-infantry assets. What's over here too? Let's see. I'd love to have more damage for my range units or even more ammunition. More damage would be fantastic too. Yeah. All right. At 12, we get Fractured Mind. So I'm going to pick up Reanimated Marksman. I want to get Poacher, but again, that can wait. But more ammo and more damage sounds better. Okay. I should be able to get some other new units soon, but for now, let's upgrade what we have in our control. Okay. Over here, that'll be tier three. Star Tower. You need to have your tier upgraded as well, so we're going to let you focus on that. And let's have a look around at what I can do. I have no treasure maps right now to try to find more. These guys are just all over the map. I've taken out quite a few of them. Oh, Destan is one. I'll get Deck Gunners, Blood Reaver, Deck Guard. Ooh, Death Guard would be very nice. They're pretty close to me. The treasure maps right now. He's not rank five yet. How are my objectives going? That shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, Lord Noctilus, if I, if I played as him, I could just like sail around. I wouldn't even need to really conquer lands directly, which to me is very interesting. I like that a lot. I don't like Clan Pestilence, but it looks like they're not coming after me. I don't know who they're directly attacking, though. Maybe like a rebel Skaven Force? I don't know. I'll have to eventually go down there to beat them. I want the entire coastline of Lustria under my control, my dominion. Okay, so we're about to head over to even more treasure. I wonder how difficult a Skull Island would be. I bet it's got a, a very terrible fight. We can upgrade that to tier 3 now. I'll be able to get a Vampire Fleet Captain. My upkeep will go down by a further 5%. I think I'll do that early on. I'll want other upgrades too, but I'm going to grab that now. Blood and blood. Yeah, he's still waiting. He's just building up for now. And we get to end our turn again because there's not too much more for me to do. What's your loyalty at right now, Bill Black Cell? Seven. Yeah, it's going down slowly. My infamy is currently 2,000. Count Noctilus is above me. Darfin's having a pretty tough time. So is Arnesa. I'm above those two. Now, if we keep getting the same, like, pirate map, I'll wait until that is all patched up and fixed, and we can go to a different area, but we can see. It could just have been that we had the same treasure, too, but we are around the same island, so I wonder if there are, like, islands, and they change up depending on which one you're near, because, I mean, those are new, right? Okay, supplies adrift. Fodder no more. The sight of wrecked ships is nothing new for a seasoned pirate, but this particular one, Errol, did a welcome surprise, packed to the kill with brand new weapons, armor, and gunpowder. The ship's cargo hold is several times the size of our own. However, some supplies will have to be left behind. What should we leave from the ship? I'm going to go take what I can for my infantry. I have more campaign movement range, even better. We'll probably come back to go beat this, guys, eventually. Let's go look over here, too. What would be handy for us? We don't have walls yet. Okay, growth goes up. I do need growth early on. We'll take that for now, even though I need money. It's better that we help them grow right away. I'm about to get a few more things over in the Awakening. Ammunition. I lose only 10 infamy per turn. If I get enough buildings to counteract that, I could get some very loyal friends. A fell cargo. We'll come over here now. Okay. We'll perform better on the campaign. Upkeep goes down. I've got an evil amount of gold. And attrition goes down too. Very good. So nothing too crazy. My madness is not weakness. 
We're going to head down here now because I want to head back to go take out that enemy of ours, that little rogue army. I'm not going up to Lizardmen yet. I'd like to go inland right now and take him on, but I think we can wait a little bit longer. If I fight again, I bet Creepy Carry will be level 3. That'll be a nice good level. And I want my animated hulks too. I haven't gotten to pick them up yet. So I'm looking forward to getting a few animated hulks to join our army. Another mission completed. 1,000 more gold and infamy for me. Okay, let's have a look at what we have over here. I can get another vampire fleet captain if I do that. Over here would unlock a gunnery white. Let's see, hand cannons, which I've not really used yet. Over here would be a carronade. Over here would be a Morn Ghoul Haunter. Rotting Prometheans, Morn Ghouls, and Sirenes. All the large units sound fantastic. I want a mangrove of monsters. Then I just want more money. I'm so very low. Okay. Got to take a few more garrisons. I'm going to go take my port, though. We need the 200 more gold. Okay. Level 3. What am I going to give you now, my friend? I'm going to give you more health and weapon strength. You can decrease their magic, too. Very nice. Very nice. Don't think I'll be able to hit it outright. I'm close to it. Nope, not quite there. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I'm back in my waters again. Oh, rank four. Very nice. Okay. What am I going to give you now, my friend? Let's see here. More replenishment? I think not. Spirit leech. That could be handy. I've got a lot of things I need to give you, pal. We got some basic magic. We're going to have you upgrade that magic. Let's go check out the Dreadfleet like would like to be friendly yet. Nope, not yet. I'm ranked 24 in overall power. I'm very reliable. And Pestilence, they're not going to bother me, thankfully. I don't want them to. The Rangers, I'm going to go kill. That'll be a decent amount of gold. I wonder if they took away all the time limits on the quest or the missions. I hope so, because that'll be nice. There were like a few that you just couldn't do right away. It was way too far away. All right, so let's wait a minute now. We'll go pick up more treasure, then head back and take them out. Then we can think about going after some lizard man. It might be time for that. I've been at sea for so long. Plan of action. That'll give me more campaign movement range, but for 15 turns. Holy cow. Let's see. The night sky bleeds purple. The wind of Shayish is strong and settling the crew with newfound vigor and strength. Now is the time for action, for conquest, and for using this magical boon to our advantage. Should we control the seas or turn our attention to new lands? We shall use sea legs. Curse my crowded psyche. Navigating. Time for another fight. To their graves. Ooh, they have a rotting leviathan. Very nice. That's a lot of health. I hope we get that fun map that has all the water. Yeah, there we go. New map. The yeah, my goal now is to come back. I've cleaned up the shoreline. I mean, I've done a lot of work cleaning up the shoreline. That was an extensive amount of just constant combat. I'd actually be really interested in seeing CA develop their own fantasy IP, to be honest. I feel like they would come up with like some really crazy stuff. That'd be a lot of fun. Okay, so we got mortars. We're going to use them over here. Ooh, we can funnel them in. Ooh, I know what I can do. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to have you guys kind of stretch out a little bit. We're going to try to bunch them in because I want to shoot them as they come in. They might try to go around too. That's an option, but we'll see if they do that or not. Okay. I want three of you over here. I want three of you over here. Either way, you're going into guard mode. You two will be in the middle. 
Wrong course. Go join that one. All of you will be over here. All of my range units will be assisting. They don't need to go out on their own yet. Let's just move up a little bit. Bring up a few gunners. Okay, let's go after, let's have a look. What do you have? Got some gunnery mobs. Let's go after these guys real quick. I'm gonna go after those Death Guard later too. They've got a rotting Leviathan who's so darn cool looking. Look at him, check him out. Reminds me of Hermit Crabs as a kid on the beach. I know what I want for Christmas, Mom. That. Whatever that is, I, I just want that. I, oh, I need to look at my new match rate. I think I had that one before. I can't really remember though. We'll see. Come over here real quick. You'll go harass the unit. Actually, I want all three of you to move over here. I've changed my mind up a little bit. You'll come help out for sure. I want every major gunnery unit to go hit the rotting Leviathan. You two come over here. I want all of you to go harass that group of pole arms. Alright, let's go after the major target for now. We've got two, I think. We'll tire out their leader. That'll be fine. That'll be okay. They do have pole arms. I'll let you move in too. Is every gunner shooting directly? No, they're not. We've got a few who are kind of Locked off. Gunnery mobs, let's have you attack now. You'll come over here. You'll shoot over here. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Between everything, I think we're going to make it. It's going to be a tough one. Oh my god, check out the duel that we have going on. That group has been wiped out. Let's go after all of these units over here now. I'll have all of you focus fire. It's gone. We did it. Whatever else we want to kill. I guess we'll go after the pole arms or whatever. They don't really have any close by, do they? No, they do not. Okay, creepy carry. You two go after their leader. Let's save me some time. Let's shoot more of them. We're going to keep on attacking that deckhands group. We'll have the two of you attack their leader. You've got handguns too. Finish them off. Gunnery mob has 65 kills. They were able to obliterate this group of pirates. Check out that corpse, man. That's huge. And we're fighting around it. Okay. Now, mortars attack over here. I think they're getting some nice kills. 37, yeah, go kill them. The cans come over here. Full arms come over here. Bombers move back a bit. Alright, let's go through this group now. They've got their death guard. We're gonna try to shoot them a lot. I'm gonna move you back a bit. I'm gonna move you about here. I'm gonna move you back just a touch. Okay. I want these two to come after the death guard. They're all alone. Go after their leader now. Fleet Admiral. In between all of your fighting, another battle's been won. Oh my god. Oh, it's a mama and a baby. They're adorable. Oh, not so adorable. Just terrifying. Oh yeah, my D&D players did hear about what I want to bring into one of the games. I won't tell them when. I can't help but do like really creepy stuff for D&D. It's just my thing. Everyone has like their trademark. Mine is terrifying and traumatizing D&D players. With about a one. My god, you could get to such a high level so quickly. Yeah man, because you're able to replenish as you're actively fighting, it's like just being in your own realm. Murderer Harry Sharp is now gone. The pilot king only knows victory. Yeah, no kidding. 
6,000 more gold and a scroll of power. Alright, time for me to head back. Now, with all of that money that I've made, what am I going to pick up? There's a lot of military buildings I want to get. Like a carronade. Carronade would be nice. I need some extra money though, too. We'll take that. I can't get my ancient vault. Not yet. Walls are handy, I'm sure. But let's see. That would let me get what? Scurvy dogs? Eh. Deck droppers. Those are bombers over here. Handguns and a death shriek terror geist. Up here is death guard pole arms. So yeah, we do eventually want those. I've got my mortars. My mortars are still so handy, I think. It's more corruption nearby. That would give me so much more money. Income from ports. All regions in the province. I have ports everywhere. That just feels like I have to get it. I'm trying to avoid the walls, but I know that eventually I'm going to have to destroy something to build the walls. If I ever get invaded or there's like some crazy war, I'll have to build them for sure. That'll be a need. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can pick up... I think I'm more interested in getting some better infantry as we go on in the local area. But um, for now though, I'm going to go get a gunnery mob in a bit. Over here, I've got to go pick up my watch post. Ooh, look at that. Vampire corruption is really going up. I like it. Not this officer. If you want to dig for a map, try it out. My mind rages. All right, let's go look at what I can pick up now. Nothing too different than usual. Let's enter turn again. If I want to just go make more money, like, again, you don't even have to expand your lands. And I love whenever you have, like, unique factions that just do not require you to conquer all the land in the world. That just gets a little bit old and redundant. Here, I could have a small amount of land. I could have, like, a pocket of land. I could have a few islands, but then go out and sell and build up my fleet and become a god. And I could, at that point, realistically, you could then go out to capitals and burn them down and really bother them without having to have land. Sort of Cain claimed. Ooh, terrifying. The pirate king. Yep. The door. We're going. I want that money. We'll upgrade that for more money. Ooh, they're going to be mad at me. I'm not going to be able to reach them. Mm -mm. I'll have to wait a minute. We try to dig for more treasure. Okay. What money I have right now, I'm going to upgrade the capital. That'll be a start. They're still very unhappy. We're going to have a rebellion soon. I don't know how big it's going to be, but it's going to be fairly big. So I'll have to move you back in. Try to keep them happy. To try to placate them. Yeah, once I take out this army, that'll be 2,000 more gold for me. If there's any treasure nearby, I might go out and take that. I do need to go fight some lizard men, but before I do that, I'm probably going to upgrade my army a touch. I want to introduce a few more units for all of you in part three. That way you can have some more variety. Variety being the spice of life. It's very much a need in my view. Come on, me. I welcome it. Me too. Blood. I don't have a big army, but they are making me move in fairly deep. The land is I am not liking that. Okay, good. Nothing fell apart, but I did lose plenty. Time for me to get more treasury. More money. There we go. More infamy for me. Curse of the Queen's Cannon. Legend has it that Harkon himself captured the Hellhammer, which provided this brutal piece of artillery. They say Bess is cursed, or more rightly, those victims caught in her crosshairs are the real cursed ones. Alright, I should get the hell out of here. I do want to get that. We're going to look at that in a bit. Fractured mind. Here we go. Harkon's personality has been broken into many parts. The end result of his insatiable lust for power. We can now get some cool stuff over here too. Like explosive bullets. Oh god. I'll be able to lower my upkeep by 10%. An unknown quantity. Alright, I'm going to give you physical resistance. I want to make you a little bit more durable. So you're going to take that. A step too far. 
can't move too far. And if I didn't have all the campaign movement range, you wouldn't be able to move very far at all. That would be a shame. Okay, so we're about to get our crazy critters. All right. Available for recruitment in any army. Probably a good idea. My madness is not weak, I'm going to get rid of one mortar. King of the I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Here we go. Right performed. Hear me. All right. I'm guessing she's just over here. Yep, right there. I'll have to wait until we get into friendly lands again. I'm not making 1,500 gold, even more than I was before. That is wonderful. I think financially, we are certainly behooved by making the right choice when it comes to financial buildings. I mean, that alone, look at that. That's for all regions in the province. Income from buildings going up. We've got quite a few ports. So that's going to be a decent amount of coin, I think. Let's see, taxes, we're looking at 2,000. No trade going on at all, post battle loot. Most of my income is coming from like other things. I do spend most of it, so, eh. So now we've got to make the choice on where we want to attack. That's going to be an interesting one. It could either be prudent for us to attack the Lizardmen up north or down south. Quetzal, said they have a huge stack. So that could be an issue too. It's not a walled settlement though. My ocean. Oh, Let's come over here real quick. For now. For now. The madman. Okay, we're about to have a rebellion down here. They might even give me a mission to put them down. Let's go look at any treasures that might be close by. That's pretty close by. I might even go grab that and do that battle. Anything close by, I'll want to pick up. For that extra beautiful loot. Star Tower makes a lot of money because it's an elven port. That's why I love these unique buildings, and that's why I love this map. Let's go look at the map real quick. I was like, more is better, so I want the entire map to be here. No, 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 no. These factions here are so much more interesting, especially Lustria. Lustria is a lot more fun to fight on because you can actually sell around. If I want to, I can sell around and take the entire coastline. If I want to come over here and take more islands, I've got that choice too, which makes it a lot easier to defend as well. And look at all the little islands. There's just so many. You can just take so much. I wonder what the other pirates are up to. <laughs> all right, let's go down here and pick up what I wanted to pick up. Oh, indeed. I've got choices, my friends. I've got choices. I want... Where, where'd you go? Right, right. Regiment of Renown. I forgot. <laughs> All right, let's have a look real quick. Armor-piercing missiles, anti-infantry, a missile damage of 279. We're looking at a monstrous impact. It really slows them down. A range of 450. That's very good. It's on par with a great cannon 16 shots total they have flaming attacks too that could handle other vampire units it's a lot of money for it oh my god i just lost a lot of my money for having that one unit okay i'm gonna take away one of you take it too and i want to take with me some sirens my minds agree a rotting Promethean would be great. I want to get the animated Hulk, too. That's anti-infantry. But I'll have to wait for another army to pick that up, I think. Yeah. So we're getting Sirenes. Let's go look at their stats real quick. So we're looking at Charmed, minus 9 to melee attack. A huge debuff. Magical attacks, too. They have armor piercing. They cause terror. And they negate a lot of physical damage. In addition to the fact that Harkon gives them 25% to magic resistance. Yeah, if I didn't really go back to it, um, let me talk about Luther Harkon and what lore I might have missed in the last part. So, Luther never tried to get back home. He stayed here, carving out his own realm in Lustria. The treacherous coastline claimed many lives, and so his army swelled with countless dead sailors. In time, he'd make his own fleet. He wanted more power, though, so he went to the Lizardman city of Watil, or however you pronounce it. They found some hidden chamber, but his minions couldn't break into it. 
So he used his own dark magic, but the chamber was sealed with protective wards and began to collapse. He managed to get away, but the magical backlash shattered his mind and severed his connection to the winds of magic. That's why he's crazy. Okay. Let me know where you think I should attack. But it's very likely that I'll come up here because they haven't taken Lax yet. I mean, they do have Chotek as well. So that it really depends on how deep I want to go. It looks like at least this faction over here is rather minimized. They do have a gold mine. That could be quite handy. They are fighting Skaven, so there might be Skaven who hold their lands too. I might eventually have to fight Skaven. I know there's Skaven down here for sure. But yeah, let me know what you think. We've got a few options. We've got, let's see, the Blessed Dread. So we've got Lokir Felhart. We've got Skaven down here. If we want to keep on going down here to go pick up more ports. Or we can actually go in. Alright, leave a like and comment down below. And let me know if you want to see more very soon. Until then.